Hello there, everyone. This is Mark V, and welcome back to the giant Stompy Stompy Robot Simulator. By which I mean, of course, Mechway Online. Yes. Hmm, there is a fiendish thingy before us. Well, I was feeling like I do want to do some LO in play, and I do want to bring about um, a video from it. So I want to take a heavyweight. But I don't feel like trying to do that with some of the heavy equipment I've got, like my mauler. Last time I tried to do that, it was like, didn't work out. But this time, we have ourselves a vulture. Also known as a mad dog, if you're going from the clan side of things. What's this? I am Mark III. Have you fallen to the dark side? Are you really doing this? Yes, yes I am. Um, I am still primarily an IS player. But uh, I remembered when I was thinking about what I might want to try to bring into a flexible like a decent weight LRM mech, it's like, hang on, I remember, I've got a pair of vultures. I've never really done anything with them. I've never tried to. It's, they were rewards, and that's the only reason I've got them. So it's like, hmm. So the initial setup cost for this one was actually just buying the new launches and things for it, because I literally had no equipment. Anyway, yes, moving on with the video. This is a MDD RV. So yeah, this is a um, hero version. I generally don't know where I got this from. I think it's, um, there have been these events sometimes which allow you to pick a reward if you earn enough like, loot bags for them and stuff like that, and I'm guessing that's where I picked this one up, but I just don't remember. It's just been sitting in my inventory for quite a while, so it's like, hmm. Anyway, Mad Dog RV. McLeab. Here we go. Right, this particular one, um, since it's a clan mech, things are a little bit different here. But this is a pure stock RV. I've not changed out any of the module components for it. And since it's also a clan mech, we can't muck around... Well, clan mech, that's not fair. An omni mech. Yeah, 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 omni mech. Omni mech can do this. So, omni mech. All stock RV parts. Locked in with standard structure, double heat sinks, and ferrofibrous armor. I could have installed Artemis, but I chose not to, because, uh, you know, I still don't really know how to do with this. I don't really do clan text much at all, so, yeah. Anyway, that's all that. Backup systems is a pair of double heat sinks for extra cooling, because it does kind of need it with this weapon load, which is a bit on the heavy side. And a clan active probe, since I plan to try to do LRM play with this, but um, that boosts my long range sensor range, and also counteracts enemy ECM that gets too close, or at least one of them, so helps a bit more there as well, but um, there's nothing to boost missile lock time, sadly. Backup weapon array is a quartet of Clan ER medium lasers, which is a downgrade from the quad medium pulse lasers this thing came with originally, so a reduction in the NG payload, but an increase in the missile payload Kind of? Well, the standard version comes with twin 20s and twin 10s, but this one carries quad 15s, so... Side grade! Though, honestly, my initial build on this... I was somewhat miffed to find I could fit quad 20s in this thing, when my heavyweight Inner Sphere one is the Mauler with quad 15s, admittedly with Artemis, but it needs the XL engine in there to help, but, uh, yeah. Clan tech. Clan tech OP. <laughs> but, uh, that said, this is a multiplayer game, and they are actually fairly balanced. So, as much firepower on this 60-tonner as my 90-tonner carries. Fair dues. Quad LM 15s fed by a total of 8 tons of ammunition, so maybe a bit, a bit light on the ammo side, but... Um, Unlike in a normal mech, I couldn't just slam endo steel into this thing to free up some extra tonnage. So Omni mechs just aren't that adjustable. It's it's a plug and play system. You can't adjust the basic frame, but it can adapt the plugins more easily. Which is also why we stuck with the Clan 360 engine. By the by, that is um, in Omni mechs the engine is also a fixed piece of equipment. You can't swap that in and out at all. Though it does come as stock with two additional dull heat sinks and on top of the regular 10, so there is that too. Hmm. So, quad LM 15s quad ER medium lasers. It's okay, it's okay. I think the main thing is I carry more ammunition than the stock version, just to try and make sure I've got munitions on the fly. 
and not lead as much into the energy weapons, but uh, how's this going to go? I have no idea. I've played Mech Warrior Online so much that I'm very much in my comfort zone with a lot of the um, Inner Sphere stuff, except ones I specifically know to not played much. But Clan Tech, I really don't play much with at all, so... We'll go in and see what the toys do. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Come on, little vulture. Roll on match number one. Show me something I'm using, please. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems normal. Command to all warriors on the surface. Your task is to wipe away all hostiles. Show no mercy. Okay, here we go. Match number one. HPG Manifold. Game mode is Skirmish. And, um... Hmm, actually 2,000 shots almost? That should be okay. Not entirely sure where I want to go, but we do have ourselves a direwolf wandering up there. I kind of want to be in mid-range though. I did kind of enjoy that mixture. But being at long range is also a thing. You know what? Oh, we have a... A blood star not moving, and we've got a catapult. We've got a night stalker going up that way. Uh, you know, I'll stick with my catapult, brother. Yeah, let's go. Also, need to test fire my weapon. Let's see. Um, yep, thirty percent. Worth pointing out, we have no skills. Also, with learning, I have different standing things. I was genuinely confused when I was setting this mech up to come into the fight. It's like, where are my seal wheel boosters? Yes, I mark the only place for hard, hard cash. It's like, hmm, he's definitely a mercenary spirit in the mech warrior, yes. But, um, it turned out, um, I, I never bothered to pick up the clan seal wheel boosters, because I never really went into clan stuff. I was always on the IS side because more customization options. So it's like, you know, I, when I was actually looking for them, I was just like, hang on, where are they? Target acquired. I have no idea what's my maximum range. Only 900 meters. This mech doesn't have... Well, this configuration of the mech doesn't have any kind of range boost. Worth noting. Also worth noting is I've currently got this set, so left trigger all energy weapons, right trigger alternates among my fire. missile racks, because two is the limit before I start generating extra heat from firing too many at once. Same as IS. Unlike IS, though, uh, clan versions are a stream fire instead of burst fire, so I fire a stream of missiles rather than um, firing off a single solid target. clump of them. Acquired. So I have to be aware of that one. Also worth noting is I'm not helpless within target minimum acquired. range with these guys as well. I can actually fire. Yeah, they've got streams of missiles. I can actually fire... Um, at closer range. There is a damage reduction at close range firing, Target but it fired. still works, unlike IS, fired. which aren't actually armed. Not quite doing anything there, but New we're okay, at the very least. Oops, there's someone over that way. New target acquired. Oh no, it's a fellow LOM guy. New target acquired. Oops, I think I just shot my eye in the back there. My bad, dude. Target spotted. New target acquired. <laughs> Honestly, this feels kind of strange. New target acquired. Target spotted. Though also, since I lack skills, I don't acquired. actually have any um, anything to boost my lock-on time once I lose track of something. So that's all standard. But this is actually not too bad. I, I wish the... That's what I forgot to order off Amazon. I was ordering stuff and it's like, hmm, I, for, I think I'm forgetting something. I wanted a, a new... Wait, no. I did get a new mouse, I just haven't installed it yet. <laughs> because one of my buttons isn't working properly. Hi! Honestly, the, yeah, this feels different, but it also feels kind of nice. I do have to be aware, though, of course, the streams. Don't cross the streams. Also, last thing to remember. Uh, since I'm going on about the difference between this and the IS version. And because this fires in the stream rather than the clump, this one's actually more vulnerable to an anti-missile system, so it's easier Target for them to get spotted. intercepted. 
don't worry, I'm I'm not, I'm done talking down about these this stuff. Why am I talking? I'm not done. I'm not talking down about. What the heck was that? Uh, oh, New there's someone up there. Acquired. I'm not talking down about it. Actually, this is feeling okay. I just not quite sure where my allies are and what they're doing. Let's help with this guy. Hi. Target spotted. Target destroyed. You're dead. You are giving me trouble with ER lasers at a distance. Don't, I don't appreciate that button, dude. Target spotted. Nope, that's all going nowhere. Artillery, you are acquired. an Orion, of all things, but you are badly damaged. Target destroyed. Okay, good. Good. This is actually feeling okay. Feeling solid. Clan tech is definitely not bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's just acquired. outside of the field I'm used to. Again, that guy with the ER laser over there. <laughs> I was wondering if I'd overpacked with ammo, actually. Maybe the quad 20 would have been a better way to go and actually arrange burst fire and have my la my side buttons being the lasers. That would actually probably have been a good idea to try and do this. Double fire instead of stream firing them. I'll modify the build. Oops. Also, I think I might invest the skill points just to get the lock I need. Target destroyed. Heat level critical. Whew. Okay. That is also the other thing. I configured this to 1.2 heat because it's like I figured I'll be firing the lasers or I'll be firing the missiles. I, I kind of forgot. Target acquired. Kind of forgot about um, firing everything up close. So yeah, this thing overheats it, given a little bit of time. Where are my enemies? Target acquired. Well, it seems like a bit of a party going down here. I think I'll wade in with my NG weapons, if I can. Hi! <laughs> New target acquired. New target acquired. Take down any more of you. Target destroyed. Hi Trashcan! You come out to celebrate? Yay! <laughs> I'm slightly concerned about the lack of allies down here though. Target acquired. New target acquired. So I just have target to be aware spotted. and I think maybe try and help out where I can. Kinda of wishing I had those PPCs, not PPCs, pulse lasers. Or what about the heavy lasers? I've never used those actually. If I'm using clan tech, I might want to try and experiment actually. Hi. Oops. That was an overload. Engage. Right arm critical damage. Center torso. Someone take me from the damage. side. Oh no, it was, it was the Atlas, I think. New target acquired. Left arm. Oops, Daisy. Damage. Left torso. <laughs> Splat. <laughs> Three ninety-two. That felt all right. Um, I will reconfigure my controls, but it's like, yeah. What have we got left? We've already got a Shadow Cat left who is running around with twin ERPPCs. Mm. I have loaded and then got killed. Honestly though, Clan Tech, I've never had a problem with how they felt, really. It's just... My bias towards IS has been purely from a, a C-Bill standpoint. It's like, I've got all the equipment, I've got... I can get the chassis, I can refit the equipment onto any chassis of my choosing. So, there's a lot more flexibility and customization. And that's... The only real reason I've never really tried to get into um, Omnimax and Clan Tech. Just because I'd have to uh, lay out for a, a bunch more equipment. I know, I know. It's silly. It's like um, digital zero, currency. Zero it's like mm, if you want more, just play more. Yes. New target acquired. Oops, solid shot. Was that an arm hit? I think it was. He's not really a trying thing that day, well, is he? 
Sorry, I'm lagging terribly. Skipping around. Ah, that's why he's lagging. Come on, you are the you are the cat that can do it. Come on, Shadow Cat. New target acquired. Though if he's lagging, that's going to be an issue. <laughs> Oh, there it goes. He tried. He did say he was lagging, though. <laughs> he nearly killed that uh, Mad Cat at the end, though. One kill, seven assists. L good chunk of team damage. Yeah, let let's try modifying this for the next match. Honestly, I did shoot through... About three tons, uh, three, to, three and a half tons of ammo in that one. So I could probably swap out some of that. Hmm. Okay, this is what I've got from a second try with this. Um, it's more along the lines of what I was originally slapped together before I thought, you know what, let's try to be a bit more reasonable about it. So quad LRM 20s, four tons of munition. Backup weaponry is a quad ER smalls. Supported again by two double heat sinks and a clan active probe. Uh, my concern about this one is it invests massively into the missile weaponry, but not into the ammunition bins. So it's um, it might run a bit low on ammo. I mean that is 12, 12 salvos, and that's then they run click dry. So it's like I don't quite want that. I think I want more ammo. Than what this has given me. Uh, let's see if I can scrape away a bit more weights, probably from the arms or something. Okay, yeah, this is we're going to roll it for the second one. Took out the heat sinks in the end for a pair of, sorry, two tons of more extra ammo. Um, the heating is like a bit down, but that's because of the quad lasers. I found out we're having two lasers instead of four. The heating was actually quite reasonable, so. Given the fact the lasers have very short range, I should be okay with just the LOMs, but and keeping those functioning rather than backing up the lasers with extra heat sinks is preferable, I think. So yeah, let's keep it like that. The 500,000 credits for parts I don't actually have. There we go, yes. Weapon grouping. Um, let's go ahead and put these on the semi-functional buttons on the mouse and these guys on the left-right punch to fire them in pairs. That'll, that'll do. If I had my if I, my mouse was as good as it used to be when I was playing a lot with my mauler, I would have those on but, buttons 3 and 4 instead of 1 and 2. <laughs> it's like, hmm. But my mouse... I don't know, button 3 doesn't seem to work properly anymore. That's why I bought the new one, and I'm still not sure where I put it. Anyway, match number two. Here we go. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Command to all warriors on the surface. Your task is to wipe away all hostiles. Show no mercy. Gosh, the clan announcer is so aggressive. Okay, here we go. Welcome to match number two. We are on Bearclaw Base. Work in progress edition. Sorry, Bearclaw 2 base, rather. Um, quad L and 20s. Quad ER smalls. Let's find the smalls. Click. They go pew! <laughs> oh, oh, hello, Bushwalker. Yeah, next time use a turn indicator, I might actually spot that. Anyway. Um, another thing that would I mean being willing to delve into clan tech these days is like um, that. Remember when I was doing all the long range stuff right before Christmas time? That does open the option of the ATM launchers, which by default actually have a longer range than the LRM launchers. So yeah, that would be an option. Plus they have different fire modes depending on range. They're very flexible. The drawback is they don't fire many missiles. But they do increase damage against close targets because instead of expending their fuel, they actually use that as part of their warhead. So it's like, 
flexible, just limited in number and kind of bulky to have along. So yeah, have to be a bit careful with that. Honestly though, clan tech has definitely come a long way when you remember that the entire original reason for clan tech was so that um, the company making them could take their cheap plastic line of toys and sell premium Target metal solid. bits which is just flat out better and more expensive and had a better profit margin on it and all that stuff. It's like, hmm, top grade quality stuff, they are Target better by quality. default if you have them, have fun. So it's just like, yeah. Just take a speculative posh out of that guy. That Target actually hits. Acquired. Oh, hello. And someone hit me in the back. I, what the hell? Missile. Warning incoming missile. And I'm being shot at a lot. What the hell's happening? Warning incoming missile. Ow. Incoming missile. New target acquired. Actually, why are we spread out of this? I I don't not sure I like that. <laughs> but yeah. Back then Clan Tech was done that and then they had to try and adjust it the setting for it. But clans have always been very aggressive and on the bounce, so it's like, you know. Hmm. I kind of wish I could get that um, stuff to track spotted. properly. Target spotted. You're a duelist. Okay, come on. Nope. New target oh, that direwolf is probably going to be pushing out over there. Target spotted. New target acquired. Need assistance. Need assistance. I need to be moving. Ow. Stop! I'm not your enemy! Give peas a chance! Actually, no, I don't like peas, never mind. Oh my yells? What war horn is that? Okay. Well, bad news is I've lost my beak, my active probes, and some ammo, I think. But I'm actually okay apart from that. But my armor is shredded. We don't want to be out here in front. Just saying. Target acquired. Target spotted. Oh, I lost a couple of lasers as well. Target destroyed. And that was a badly timed overload. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Turn. No, my side torso. No, my precious lasers. Sorry, missiles. No, it's missiles, not lasers. Ow. <laughs> okay. Um. Hmm. You know, I mean, my biggest regret is. My positioning was kind of bad in that one, but my biggest regret was actually having the ER Smalls as my backup weapon. I do think that I do want to lean back into the philosophy I was awakened to with that LRM Irby, of having a mixed blend of LRMs plus other capabilities is probably better than just going, yeah, you got more missile tubes. At least I, th I think I find it more flexible. <laughs> wow, I think old me would have keeled over here and he's talking like that. Oh, this guy's at ATM sixes. Thanks. Hmm. Look at the range on that thing. One thousand nine hundred and eighty meters. Wow, that's reaching out to like AC2 and ER laser ranges. That actually outranges the um, ER lasers, I think. AC2 acquired. Rangers, that. Yeah, it looks like we won this one then. Target destroyed. But still. New what is it? Howl? Howl, I th think is. Isn't the Howl like the, the um, hero Timberwolf? Maybe. Oh, it's a war emu. One of the few legendaries I've actually been tempted by because it's a stalker with. A ballistic focus, but apparently it's got bugged hard points and things on it. Bask in the glory of your triumph. I bask in the glory of my triumph. Yes. <laughs> the announcer. 
Okay, what have we got? How did I do? No kills, 8 assists, 292 dealt, 410 taken, suicided, so yeah, I did blow myself up by overloading myself. That's, um, I fired my launchers too rapidly. But it's like, target ahead of me, I'm about to die, uh, empty all the missiles. So, yeah. Uh, I think I'll, I think I'll swap back to the 15s, actually, as a more balanced loadout. Though I will actually retain the, the firing in pairs thing. Hmm, now what, what do I want as my energy weaponry? Okay, third try is the charm. Hmm, we have a quartet of LM15s, supplied by five tons of munitions. Uh, supporting equipment is an additional five double heat sinks with a clan active probe, still retained for that one. And because I'm trying new things, the weaponry is a treble array of heavy medium lasers. If something gets too close, it's like, hey, have 30 points of damage. Go away, please. I've never used these guys before. Well, we're going to find out what they're like, I suppose. <laughs> sure, they've got limited range, but it's like, um, outside that, LOMs. Up close. I've got to go away button. So, we'll see how that works out for us. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Commander Warriors, capture resources and wipe the service clean of any enemies. Yeah, I just noticed that. It's like, it, please say that's not my gyroscope over there. <laughs> it's fucking, what the come? Okay, um, oh, I need to adjust weapon load. There we go. Right, fixed. Match number three, Grim Plexus. The game mode is Conquest. Okay, I have left and right 1,200 missiles in stock. Decent supply. And a trio of heavy lasers. Honestly, my exposure to heavy lasers, like, is not that big at all. It's not those weapons it's like, barely used. Mainly, my only real time having them it's actually been in Mech Commander 2. And I would often use them because in that game, that's like, if you can handle the heat, they are a solid upgrade just to the standard lasers. In this game, it's kind of a similar situation. They run hotter, they do more damage, they have a longer beam duration, if I recall. But they are actually the same weight and. Well, they are a bit, a bit bigger in some cases. We have taken Sigma. But the weight is the same as the um, internal ones they replaced, so my heavies make take two slots, but they only weigh one ton, which is as much as the Are ER or... No, not the Pulse, just the ER ones, I think. Actually, do Clan Pulse weigh the same? I, I don't remember. Remember, um, Clan Tech, not one of my specialties. Hmm. This is one of the reasons I need to get into Mech Warrior 5. It's like, um, they've rebounced all the, lots of the games, there's all sorts of different things like Burst and stuff, it's like... All sorts of things in that game, I do need to... Actually settle in and get that started. I've not had really managed to settle down and do that yet. But it is on my to-do list. New target. Okay. Uh, 900 meters. I need to test fire just to see how hot they run. Oops, something took posh shot at me. I do not appreciate that. But there's something over there, I believe. New target acquired. Target no. spotted. Okay, so the heavy lasers, I was expecting a thicker beam. I think that's probably a holdover from, from uh, Mech Commander 2. They sounded a bit meatier, though. Target spotted. Move in, move in. Uh, yeah, there's something over there sniping. Target spotted. In the F5, Vindicator with PPC. Target spotted. Vindicator. That's another mech I've not really used much. Don't get me wrong, it's a staple in a lot of games where it's like... In MechWarrior Online, it's one of those ones I've not really touched. Target spotted. The enemy has resource point data. I just need to get and maintain a lock Target on him, spotted. that's the thing. Oops. Wrong key. Target spotted. Yep. He died behind cover. We do have... We have an entire assault lance and more chasing this lone Vindicator just to make sure he doesn't harass us. I think. Slight overkill there, but oh well. Target 
target destroyed. <laughs> Take that. Uh, but, yeah, I, I'm wondering where everyone's going as well, actually. And I was about to open fire, but I realised that I was just out of range. So, target not the best fire. idea. I, I don't know why... I've, I think basically the entire group... Some of the heavies went after that Vindicator, and the entire group went yeah. with them. We have a really good position going Sorry, Catapult, I didn't mean to hide behind you there, but it's like, yeah. A good start. Keep holding the resource point for you. They are a quarter of the way there. Do not let them push ahead. Oh, there's some enemy laser AMSs and things in there. New target acquired. So I need to watch out for that. Target spotted. Target spotted. New target acquired. That Marauder apparently has one of the AMS systems on it. Target spotted. Oh, lost my lock. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Gotta say, when I was configuring this thing, it's like um, what I wanted to do was not not just end of steel. I also wanted to swap in a slightly heavier engine, boost the speed a bit. And it's like, no, you can't do that. It's an Omni Mech. Actually, yeah. What's happening? Oh wow, we are not doing good on points, are we? These mediums feel kind of nice. <laughs> I know I melted some armor off that guy. He was not happy with me. And I shouldn't be standing quite as still as I am. But that is a war emu over there. Yeah, I really need to actually invest in skill points. Reminder, I am not playing with any skill points. I didn't actually buy any skill points while reconfiguring myself. New target acquired. No, I don't think I can hit that grasshopper from here. Oh. Now I can. Please, 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 hold it with the friendly fire, please. All I can do, say is, I'm not doing the friendly fire. <laughs> New target of that, I'm actually fairly blameless this time. Target destroyed. Okay, good, that's the target down. New target Let's push acquired. forward. We are about to lose by points, so that is continuing to stick down. Acquired. And I kind of wish I had more ammo. Yeah, in an actual combat engagement where I'm able to keep on loading and supports, my ammo is running down quite quick. Oh, it's the war union again. Hi, buddy. How are you doing? Oops. <laughs> that was a wasted salvo. Okay, I'm almost out. <laughs> My munitions are nearly dry. Oh no! Oh, we've actually got all the kills oh, though. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> a bit more ammo, I think. The heavy lasers felt kind of nice the few times I had to employ them. I think that's. I might keep them just for that account. It's like not often I need them, but when I need them, if they're useful. There we go. Okay, we've got Theta. What else do we need? We need Gamma, if we can. Over this way. Okay, we've got lights and things heading towards Gamma. The 81, this, this yeah, clan, te clan makes it on a whole tend to be faster than in the sphere ones. We're halfway there. Come on, if we can get get Gamma before we've only got one light there. Epsilon's been uncapped and then it's immediately rushing towards Gamma with everything we've got. <laughs> But uh, yeah, 60 missiles left in the tubes. There were some misfires, not much friendly damage, but it's like, you know. Uh, the lasers, though, are... Bzzzt. Just like, hey, hey. I hurt you. Bzzzt. Beam range is a bit longer. 
Yeah, okay, we, yeah, we've got this. We've got this. Hey! There we go. <laughs> so, yeah, first time seriously playing with the Clan LRMs. Not bad! I am intrigued. 525 dealt, 135 taken, team damage 20 points. So, yeah, I wasn't doing the team damage. That guy was saying, please, 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 please stop doing that. I still remember the time when I was in a light PPC fitted Black Knight and I accidentally killed an allied Warhammer by coring his torso out from the back because I didn't realize how low my shots were going. So, that, yeah, that's. Yeah. Massive damage killed an allied heavy, and it's like. Yeah, if you keep doing that, you're going to be on the naughty list. So you got a, a, a penalty for it. <laughs> it's like, that's the, the only time I remember actually getting a penalty for doing team damage deliberately, and it was a complete accident. Anyway, one killing blow, seven assists, one kill most damage dealt. That's probably the war emu, I think, actually. Or maybe it was the Irby, I'm not sure which. Poor Irby. I mean, I've got a little Irby in there, but it wasn't that one. 525, 135, core components, 11112, lance information, protection policy. Yeah, yeah. Actually, hmm. Gotta say, clan tech does feel cleaner. Feels, well, no, that's a lie. Clan tech feels smooth. It's more agile. The mobility is better. The mechs are more advanced. But cleaner, no. Inner sphere stuff has a ruggedness to it. And the sheer customizability of the stock mechs versus the plug and play of the clan tech stuff in the omni mechs i think i like i value the um freedom to customize more than the omni mech stuff though the omni mech stuff has some separate bonuses and things as well like um if i swap omnipods i can change where the hard points are for the mech a bit or um, well, if I do that and mix and match, though, there is actually a bonus which only kicks in if I've got the entire set for a thing. Which is, like, all all potential pieces. And I can't swap the core piece, so the core is always the same piece. But if you look at this, when I've got all eight of this particular um, vulture, turn rate plus 15%, acceleration, deceleration plus 10%, and an extra 2.5% experience bonus. Experience bonus I don't care about at all, but the turn rate and accelerate decelerate are actually tasty quite tasty so that i think that's probably why this mech felt kind of agile as well as being like a, a low end heavy it's like not not bad but if i go into my omnipod settings um if i was to start swapping it out i could find ones with different internal components on them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I'd need the center torso to get the full bonus for things. But it's like, the bonuses in these mechs is more complex than what the initial scorecards actually show you. The other Vulture I've got is actually an A. Which apparently has uh, extra PPC velocity and ballistic bonuses. If you mix and match though, you, you lose most of the bonuses you've got in the mech. Let's actually check that. Bonuses, seabills, firepower. We are in this guy, which gives us turn rate, XL, D cell. So those guys. And these are base parts to the actual thing. Hmm. That's it though. There are actually um, base baseline mechs on the clan side as well. So. Like uh, the like the Irby IICs are, I think the Hunchback IIC is one actually. And there's other there's other because like Omnimex are just like the the best of the best, the upper crust. They are the supreme machines of war, dueling on the front lines for honor and victory. But it's like most of the standing forces of the clans is actually made up by standard mechs rather than omni mechs because omni mech tech is expensive to develop so yeah let's see hunchback i see if it's got an a b c it's i think that's an indicator of it's a um oh no 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 
that's just how the clan name things. No, this is actually a yeah, a fully modifiable standard battle mark. <laughs> yeah, the true advantage of the plug and play nature I aspect so I mentioned uh, of Omnimax isn't really modelled in this because you can just like hot swap everything ar around to make your own custom mechs the whole time, so it's not really a factor. It might be cheaper to do. But then it, it, the game doesn't cost you, charge you for like that anyway. So it's like in a game with a, a more model setting like MechWarrior 5, that might be a factor. I'm not sure, actually. I'll have to actually start playing to find that one out. But in the meantime, though, twin Ultra AC 20s. Ah, <laughs> oh, tempting. I've always been tempted to get this mech just for the double light Ultra AC 20s on a 50 tonner. <laughs> just go, like, hey, hello. Bang. Goodbye. <laughs> Oh, what was it? Um, hunchy's, hunchy's gonna hunch. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Enough poking around. I, I think maybe I should look into clan tech a bit more. Broaden my horizons a bit. Still gonna keep going back through things that are listed as well. This is like this is an odd video, so just just to see. But let's see what I've uh, actually got. Um, I've got those two vultures, as I said. I've got uh, that Warhawk Prime over there. Just chilling out. Uh, I picked up a Nova at some point, and a Viper, and a Shadow Cat. I think all of these are just like rewards from events and things. And I've got an Incubus in the light category, so it's like, yeah, not much in terms of equipment. Anyway, sorry. I was just exploring a bit. Let's end it there. This has been... Um, I am Mark III, properly trying out my Vulture for the first time. I think this is... I think I think this is the first time I've tried to properly tune it to my tastes and all that stuff. And it's actually worked pretty well. Uh, yeah. Feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Helps out me, helps out channel, gives you those virtual head pats I oh so crave. And I'll catch you all some other time! Hopefully some, for some more giant robot stompy stompy combat action, because... As I keep saying, more videos of that is always good. <laughs> See you all later. I don't know, I've, I've got a bit of a soft spot for the Vulture, actually. Which I think started back in the original Mech Commander, now that I think about it. Just seeing it perched on a hill, raining fire on my, my units as they pass through the valley below. Oh, that I think that mission was one I failed quite a bit before I got the hang of it. Mm-hmm.